Okay, my love. Um, it is dry. It's about 80% dry, which is fine to me because the part has been set. As you can see, uh, it to me, it needs a little bit of plucking and like right there and just kind of whiten the part just a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tweezers and just pluck you know some hairs out to make the part more defined. Okay I've opened up the part a little wider as you can see um, and I took it all the way down to here where the lace is. The next thing I'm going to do is um, try it on and um, then I'm going to cut the lace. And I just kind of pull back the hair so that I won't cut. Here's the lace right here. Okay. And then I just size the weight of the hair to kind of hold. And then you just cut along as close as possible to the hairline. I'm not feeling that middle clip. Now I see why people cut it out. Okay, now moving right along. What I'll do at this point is take out some hair. Because you don't want it sitting too far on your forehead like that. Then you'll look like <laughs> Cousin Ed. Or look, we're trying to go for is a natural... And mind you, my hair underneath is not straightened. It's stretched, but it's not pressed. Got some lace stuck in there. Now you see it coming together here. What I'm going to do now is to sew. Um, elastic on the ear tabs to make this wig lay even flatter and I will show you how I do that I went to um, the thrift store and I found some black elastic that I can use there's that piece right there oh my god some black elastic it was a belt you know, those stretchy belts that you see. And I cut off the ends of the belt. And I use pieces of the elastic as I did in the wig that I took off earlier. And, um, and what that does is it's going to give me a better fit with this wig. And it's also going to lay this wig down flatter so that it looks more natural as you can see right here and it'll just make the wig more secure what I do is I measure from the back of this ear stretch it out And then I just kind of think, okay, is that going to be too tight? And if it's going to be too tight, then I just loosen up this side just a little bit. Um, you want it snug, but you don't want to have a headache as a result of it. Because then you got to take it all down and re-sew re it again, and that sucks. So this is my measurement right here to where my thumb is. I'm going to take the scissors, and I'm going to cut that off just like that and this is the piece that I'm going to use. Take my needle and thread, tie a knot in the end of course. Remove the unit. Look how natural that looks. I'm so excited. Remove the unit.
I am going to locate my ear tabs which will be right here where my thumb is and I am going to sew the elastic and I'm going to lay the elastic down like this can you see that I'm going to lay the elastic down right about in there and I'm going to sew and then I'm going to repeat the same thing on this ear tab right here okay and then I'll show you I'll come back and show you what it okay, looks I've like. completed sewing the strap on behind both ear flaps and I'm going to put it on for a dry run and Okay, now we're back. Okay, now that it's on, I've secured the straps in the back um, so it's real snug. It's not going anywhere. Uh, so bring on the Santa Anna's, honey, because I am ready. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, if I were flat ironing my hair, I would flat iron this down with this. Now, the next thing, uh oh, there we go. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, put a little makeup in the part. And I have a little bit on the brush, not much. It's left over. I just don't want to overdo it. See that? And then on the demarcation line, I'll lift it slightly and dig underneath that as I can get it I'm not an expert at this so let me like smooth that out just a little bit so does that look natural ladies I wanted to also show you this wig I mean you can part it anywhere and you got scalp anywhere you want and you have scalp that's the great part about having a full lace unit don't that look like my hair has been pressed out it just looks like pressed out hair um, that's the advantage of having a full lace unit I know some of my braids are probably out I hope you ladies can see that. We're always happy when it's brand new out the box. I mean, it's always gorgeous and oh, it's perfect. It's wonderful. But let me wear it for a while. Let me wash it. Let me flat iron it. Let me sleep in it. Let me abuse the heck out of this like I do my other wigs and then see if I'm still in love. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and and get some layers going in this wig. Um, I'm going to start long. Oh, I can't see. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but I have to go off camera because I'm left-handed. Okay.
Love it. Oh, so hot. Oh my God, I feel like I'm in a freaking sauna. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know, I know, black t-shirt. Look at that. And I haven't even brushed my buckshots. <sighs> Ladies, hmm, can't tell me nothing. I tell you, YouTube is the bomb because you learn so much. This is incredible. Love it. Love the wig. RPG hair show. You are the bomb. I will be purchasing another one just like this. And then I'll do a permanent side part and just do it the same exact way. I'm going to be ordering it tonight soon as I'm done with you ladies and uh, yeah love in it look at that <laughs> love it love it and y'all know I hurried up and put these curls in so I'm gonna set them with some rollers so that they'll be even more defined tomorrow when I wear it oh I love it anyway I really do hope that my tutorial was um, helpful. I'm sorry with no makeup on, with very little makeup. Um, I, I apologize for that. But no, I don't because this is how I really live. And I ain't trying to front. And I wouldn't change a thing. But you let me know. You're the experts out there. And I learn from you. And I appreciate you. And I love you. Let me get this hot towel off of me. I love you. And... Uh, Take care, ladies and gents, and I will see you in the next video. I'll see you in two weeks, and that is to um, do a link check on my Hairfinity um, journey. And then I'll let you ladies know how this is holding up. See, I mean, I, I really need to spray and, and get some uh, rollers in here. So anyway, take care. I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.